Okay, we're going to go ahead and try to show you a little bit about Green Screen Wizard real quickly. I think you'll find it's some of the easiest to use, most user-friendly software for green screen that you've ever tried. Uh, I've already got it here on my desktop. I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. Here it is. As you can see, there's an image already up. That's just the default image. Uh, first button on the top is load foreground. That would be your green screen shot. I've already got some green screen shots saved in uh, the, the uh, camera folder. Uh, let's go ahead and select this one. As you can see here, there's a lot of wrinkles and folds and shadows on the green screen. That used to be a huge consideration, but Green Screen Wizard uh, is very forgiving as far as that goes. Uh, normally, if you've just got uh, some wrinkles and folds, it'll take care of it for you. Uh, you can see this, the uh, image is sideways. Let's go ahead and click Rotate Clockwise and Open. Okay, you can see the green screen's been extracted automatically. There she is against the default background. Next uh, background is, or the next uh, button is load background. Let's click on that. On my computer, I've already decompressed all of the digital backdrops on the mega DVD that comes with this package. Uh, as you can see, they're all in their own folder. If we just click on any one of them, it'll give us a preview over here on the right. Let's go ahead and load this one. Okay load a different one just this easy and remember you could be doing this while your customer is looking right over your shoulder to pick the background that they like the best it's just that fast okay let's go with that one go down to the third button which is adjust image uh, to me, the subject in this photograph is just a little bit underexposed, so I'm going to go to the brightness slider, brighten her up just a little bit. As you can see, you can work with the background or the foreground on any of these adjustments. When you hit close, it'll apply the changes that you've made, just like that. Go back to adjust. Um, Rotate you don't always use, scale you use quite often. Uh, there again, just a foreground or background is what you want to select. I selected foreground. You can make her larger or smaller with this slider. And you can move her around just by moving that box. Close. Okay. Once you've got her adjusted, your subject adjusted the way you like it, uh, your customer looking over your shoulder likes the background the way it is, you're ready to either save the image right here, in which case you save it just to a folder on your computer just like you would any other file, or in most cases, you're ready to print if you have your printer set up on location just click on print uh, it has all these automatic options in this case uh, it's divided into two five by sevens if the uh, customer wants billfolds here's eight 2.5 by fours or if they want just one large 8 by 10 there's an 8 by 10 at that point all you need to do is hit print print the image out give it to 
the customer and collect the money. That's all there is to it.